The Irvin Cobb Bridge, also known as the Brookport Bridge, carries US-45 over the Ohio River between Brookport, Illinois and Paducah, Kentucky. The bridge is 716 feet long, two lane, and open to traffic in 1929. Named after Irvin Cobb, who was a famous rider from Paducah. Up until 1943, people had to pay a toll in order to cross the bridge. The thing about this bridge is a lot of people really don't like driving across it. One reason why people don't like this bridge is because it is extremely narrow and there have been people who have scraped the side of the bridge as they have driven across it. Another reason is because the deck of the bridge is a steel grate. So there are openings in the floor of the bridge. So if you look down while you're driving across the bridge, you can actually see the river through the deck of the bridge. As you drive across the bridge, it makes kind of like a humming sound, and it feels like it's pulling your car back and forth, which I've heard it's even worse uh, if you're riding on a motorcycle. In this part of the video, I'm driving from the Kentucky side over to the Illinois side in Brookport. Some people say that the openings in the steel gray deck are big enough that you could drop a can of coke through them, which I don't know if that's true or not. I've also heard people say that when they installed the uh, deck of the bridge that they installed it going the wrong way, but again, I don't know if that's true or not. Right now, we're getting to Brookport, Illinois. Now you'll see me driving from the Illinois side uh, to the Kentucky side in the Kraken County. On the Brookport side of the bridge, there's a plaque that I took a picture of, uh, and it'll be at the end of this video, but I'll read to you what it says. Nineteen twenty-nine. Paducah, Ohio River Bridge. Paducah, Ohio River Bridge Company, Richard Rudy, President. Engineers, Harrington, Howard, and Ash. Contractors, Wisconsin Bridge and Iron Company, Union Bridge and Construction Company, Rouse Construction Company. While I don't really hate the bridge, I don't really like driving across it either. Interstate 24 has a much wider four-lane bridge that I prefer to drive across when I need to get over to Illinois. But sometimes the Brookport Bridge is just more convenient. As I was doing research on this bridge, I discovered it has its own Wikipedia page. Which kind of surprised me, but I guess these days everything has its own Wikipedia page. My dog probably has a Wikipedia page. But anyway, in the comment section, let me know your experience if you've ever driven across this bridge. Another thing, I don't think people are allowed to walk across this bridge. Well, I definitely would not want to walk across it. There are no, no pedestrian signs. But I did hear somebody tell me one time that if, if you walk across it, the police will come and escort you to the other side. Now we're getting to the Kentucky side. There are a few pictures that I put at the end of this video that I'll tell you about. The first one is that plaque that is on the Brookport side of the bridge.
The next photograph is from the Kentucky side of the bridge. The next one is a sign for the suicide hotline, which actually they have these signs on both sides of the bridge for potential jumpers. The next few pictures are just things around Brookport. I hadn't been there a while, so I took some pictures of the water tower. Um, there's also a statue there that I took a picture of. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Until next time, bye.